If you drive a car and own a smartphone, there's a really good chance that you have been distracted while piloting a 2,000-pound box of death down the highway at 55 miles per hour. Even something as innocent as using your phone for navigation can take your eyes off the road for seconds at a time, which any high school driving teacher will tell you is seconds too long. NavD has set out to solve that problem with a heads-up display that feeds you all the information you could ever need while keeping your eyes firmly where they belong on the road. I'm Adam Dowd with Board at Work, and this is our full review of the NavD heads-up display. Right off the bat, I just want to say that heads-up displays are really cool. Floating the information that you need on the road before you is really, really fun. Adding in a ton of other features and usability makes it even cooler. But before we get to that, let's talk about the hardware. There are four basic components that make this work. The connector cable, the mount, the NavD itself, and the app. Yes, the NavD does run off of an app. We'll talk about that later. The connector cable connects directly to the ODB port of your car. It draws power and information from the car's computer in one cable. More on that later as well. The NavD unit comes with three mounting options, short, medium, and tall. The NavD is supposed to be positioned so that the bottom of the lens is right on line with where the road meets your hood. In my car, I used the medium mount. It was still a bit too short, but the tall mount put the unit firmly in the road, which is no bueno. I didn't take the time to run the cables all pretty-like, but there are tools to do so should you choose to not be a lazy bastard like me. Once done, the NavD connects with a hook and magnet system that attaches to the mount. You also need to connect the dial to your steering wheel. Download the app and you're ready to roll! The NavD uses your phone to connect and search for destinations. It also uses Hear Maps technology when the unit goes offline. Plus, after a few minutes, the onboard GPS kicks in and the NavD can run phone-free from then on. This is good for two reasons. It's a self-contained unit that benefits from a phone connection but doesn't require it at all times. And it frees your phone from having to have the screen on and the GPS going, which leads to better battery life for your phone on a long trip. The dial on the steering wheel allows you to perform various actions with your thumb, zoom in and zoom out, change settings, and even accomplish some simple tasks such as starting and stopping music and podcasts. Many of the menus can be configured to your taste, different clocks, different gauges, whatever works for you. As mentioned, the NavD connects directly to your car's computer, which allows for some neat tricks. First and foremost, even when not navigating, I tend to look at the NavD dashboard instead of the actual dashboard. It's just right there, and it's a little addictive. Plus, when your car's fuel tank reaches 15%, NavD will automatically ask you if you want to navigate to a gas station and adds it as a stop on your route. This is simply delightful when it happens. Well done, NavD. The software on the NavD app is very functional. It allows you to adjust settings on the display itself, and it also allows you to search for directions and keeps a running tab on your progress as you drive your route. It can't replace Google Maps from Google Assistant, for example, but the nice thing about Android is that it allows you to use NavD to navigate from third-party apps like CGO for your next geocaching adventure. There are a couple of downsides, which in this reviewer's humble opinion are minor. Sometimes, when setting the NavD into the cradle, the pins don't connect right away, so you have to fiddle with it a bit to get it to connect. Also, when using the medium or tall mount, the NavD has a tendency to vibrate a lot. At first, it's all you can see, but eventually you do get used to it. Adjusting the lens can be a little frustrating for those OCD users who like to have things perfectly centered. It always seems to be a bit too far back or a bit too far forward. The whole unit has a sort of aftermarket appeal, which might be off-putting for some users. But, duh, it's an aftermarket accessory. Finally, we get to the price. The NavD is pretty steep at $400. That's a lot of money to invest into a souped-up navigation system. I mean, if you're watching this, you have a phone with maps on it. There are dashboard mounting systems available for $10 on Amazon, throw in a power cable for your phone, and you're set. So why is a heads-up display worth it? In a word, safety. Having the information that you're looking for, whether it's your route, your car's gauges, or even your podcast player hovering on the road is a lot safer than a dash-mounted phone. Phones can fall or overheat or lose their charge or distract you with Facebook. And to be fair, the NavD can do some of that too, but by default it's turned off. And even if it does, you're already looking at the road, greatly improving the chances of you noticing something bad happening right in front of you. But aside from the fact that it's really cool to show off to your friends, safety is your number one and probably number two reason to pick this up. 
Is safety worth the price? I'll be honest, it's right on the bubble. Overall, this is a futuristic look at how many cars will be driving in the future. Some cars already have them, but yours probably doesn't. And this is a very solid offering in the aftermarket heads-up display space that does a ton of things right. If you have the means to add a heads-up display to your car, this is one of the first you should look at. Thanks for checking out our full review of the NavD heads-up display system. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below, is the NavD in your future? Be sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get all of our latest videos and reviews as soon as they hit the air. Once again, I'm Adam Dowd, Dead Technology on Twitter, reminding you to always enjoy your entertainment. Yes, no! Come on! Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Yes, yes! No, no! Come on! Here we go. Here we go. Yes! You guns!